Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the April Scraptastic kits. There's, uh, I got Let Me Go and Worth Wandering and the add-ons, but I don't keep them separated. I just put everything together and then I start matching up papers and now I'm showing you some of the products I'm going to be using. And that um, watercolor look pattern paper, that's going to be the inspiration for this layout. I'm not going to start right away um, with that part of the layout but I have it on the back of my mind but at first I'm going to cut down the photo and it's a picture of me and my son it was in 2004 what I did was I just took out a ton of pictures every time I get a new kit I go through my pictures and decide okay I'm gonna usually I take a photo box because it's easier and I decide, okay, these are the pictures I want to scrap because you kind of have an idea of the pattern papers that you have. And then I match the photos to the pattern papers. So usually I take one year and then scrap a whole bunch from that year. So this time I took 2004. And <clears throat> so it's 10 years ago. So my son was four. Oh my goodness, it was so cute. He was just so little. So this is the pattern paper that's going to be the inspiration for this whole layout because this month on my Facebook group, and if you've never heard of my Facebook group, the link is in the description. You can join us. It's just basically we motivate each other to get a whole bunch of layouts done. There's a ton of talented ladies. And um, I think it's fair to say that ever since... Um, because I've seen, you know, them on my Facebook group and they started recording videos and and they kind of motivate each other to start YouTubing videos and stuff. So it's awesome. And some of my favorite YouTubers um, came out from, from this. So it's awesome. Like, um, and I'm going to name a few and it's not the only ones, but <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just keep a few for each videos. So I think it it land land graph is, you know, one of my favorite YouTubers right now. She's so inspirational and um, was a big um, inspiration for me wanting to do mixed media this month. Um, I love her YouTube videos. She's funny. She's entertaining and she's talented. So check her out. And if you're on my Facebook group, I have a a file where I put everybody's name that I love watching their YouTube videos. And you're free to add people that you watch too. So then we kind of promote each other and kind of support each other. Another one is Kitty Scrapper. She is also hilarious and does wonderful work. And I'm just going to talk about what um, I'm doing here. And then I'll come back to some other YouTubers that I love. So I got these new watercolors, I'd say less than a week ago in the mail. And I don't even know. They're from either Japan or Korea. I think they're Je Japan. Yeah, made in Japan. And they're called Karoo Take. And I got them at Simon Says Stamps. And they're, there's it says the word Zig in front. Z-I-G. So you'd have to type that in to find them. And they come in a set of 12, 18, and 24. The only reason I got 18 is because they didn't have the 24 in stock. And they weren't too, too bad as far as price. But they work amazing. Like, the pigment in them is wow. It's just awesome. So I had also bought some watercolor brushes. And I just uploaded a scrapbook haul video. So you can check that out and I'm you know tell you a little bit more about them on that so I like I said I use that pattern paper as um, inspiration and right now the colors are super bright and super you know kind of wow in your face but as they dry they do fade out a little bit but I'm also going to do another thing because I wanted it to be more uh, 
more pastel-y than it was because that pattern paper is more pastel-y. So there is one color in the watercolor that is white. So I'm going to take the white watercolor and I'm going to color over all the top, you know, the top of them so to tone them down. And that's what I like too, is that you can blend them. You can make different colors. So I can't wait to play more with those. And this time I just use a pattern paper from the kit to, to you know, to watercolor on. I didn't use watercolor paper and it worked out fine. You know, the paper warped a little bit, but, um, I think once it's in the page protectors and in my album, it'll straighten out. It'll be fine. So this is where I add the white, you know, to kind of tone it down. So while I'm doing that, back to the YouTubers. And one thing I forgot to mention, the best thing is, is they upload often. Like, I think Edith only started, I think May 3rd, she said it had been only a couple months, so maybe February or March, and she already has 52 layouts uploaded. Kitty Scrapper has in the 70s uploaded. So, you know, if, if you're like me and you're a junkie <laughs> of YouTube videos and um, scrapbook process videos, you're going to love that because you, um, you know, they upload often. So you get to, to, to watch them often and and they're entertaining too. So that's awesome. Now, another one is Megan Russo. She's also awesome. And she's up to 40 already. And who else? And I know I'm going to butcher her name. And she says her name all the time so that we don't butcher her name. But I'm sure I'm going to anyway. Angie Kietzetsi. Um, She's amazing too. And she's in the 30 or 40 scrapbook process video also. So go check these ladies out. Um, if you're not on my Facebook group, join the Facebook group. They're all on there and they post their layouts and videos on there. But you can also go to that file where I have a list of probably 30 or 40 YouTubers um, that you can follow and learn all kinds of awesome stuff. So I added that white to all the colors and I found like once now that it's dried and it's been a few days it looks awesome I just love the color of it and it matches that pattern paper a whole lot more now I put another chipboard speech bubble just above her heads and now I'm using my Tim Holtz tiny stickers and I love those and they're I mean there's so many in there like I can't believe um, that there's that many and I just noticed um, I actually I just ordered some stickers from my mind's eye they're new and I don't know how big they are but they're a little bit more expensive so I think they're a little bigger but it's tile stickers in oh, I don't know how many colors so I can't wait to get those and play with those too I love tile stickers and I find uh, the mini markets they're not coming out fast enough <laughs> And I know that sounds silly, but that is probably one of my favorite, favorite things is letter stickers. And I use them all the time between thickers and stickers. I use them all the time. Now, the these, they're Jilly Bean letters and they came in the kit. And this time I was smart. And, you know, a few people mentioned it, Mercy Tierra, you know, to keep the backing. And then you kind of check off the letters that you... Um, you've used and this time I was able to just kind of dig through the bag and find my letters so it wasn't too too bad but I I like them so much that it's okay I'll just deal through the pain and use them anyway and I see you know that we keep getting them in the scraptastic kits and I love that I want all the colors of them again because I'm a little junkie of letters um, I, if I, you know, if somebody comes out with a letter sticker and it comes out with 10 different colors, I got to have all 10 different colors because I just love them that much and I use them all the time so they don't go wasted. Now I know I want to use a couple of cameras or three cameras on this layout. So one of them is a die cut that came 
in the kit. I believe it was a fancy pants die cuts. And then there was another one that was a puffy sticker. And the other one was a wood veneer that came in last month's kit. But I still keep them close and use them on this layout. And the smaller letters is the daily flash collection from October afternoon. And I'm going to spell out digging with that. So the title is Clam Digging. And the subtitle is This is So Much Fun. Because that's what my son kept saying. Because he thought it was great. Because, you know, I don't know if you've ever been clam digging. But you got to look for a little hole in the sand. And then you know that there's possibly... It's an air hole. So <laughs> it, there's a clam in there. So then you dig and you dig out the clam. And so he thought that was hilarious. And he just loved running it all over and looking for the little holes so that we could dig up the clam. And now I used a sticker that came from the sticker sheet that came also in the kit. And it's a fancy pants stickers. Now there wasn't two yellow ones. So what I did was I used the sticker part and then I cut the negative out so basically I just cut the sticker out and then all that's left is the outline of that sticker and I'm going to use it on the layout and I love doing that no waste nothing is wasted I use every part of the sticker and now I'm going to take out some enamel dots in gold well first I'm going to fuss with that sticker to get it straight because it's only a slim you know sliver of that stick it's stick it <laughs> sticker and uh, so it's kind of flimsy and it hard to to handle so and then I'm going to add some enamel dots in gold and then I'm going to my battery's going to die but I'm going to add uh, a camera a wood veneer camera to the bottom right and then I'm going to put also some of those little bows and that wanderlust sticker I'm going to put it to the left of the layout instead of the right. And you're going to see that in the still pictures. And I also added a sticker to the right and I put July 04 on there. So don't forget to check these ladies out. They're all awesome, funny, and entertaining and talented. So Irit Landgraf, Kitty Scrapper, Megan Russo, and Angie Kietzetsi. So go check them out and thanks for watching. Bye.